Heat exhaustion is a rapidly reversible, treatable, non-life-threatening condition in which our bodies start to overheat and then we develop things like muscle cramps, nausea, fatigue, dizziness. And to treat that, we just remove ourselves from that environment. We start to cool our bodies down. We can rehydrate orally just through drinking water or a drink with electrolytes in it. Heat stroke, however, occurs when our body temperature rises significantly. Often we think about temperatures at 104 or 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Our body's ability to cool itself down stops functioning, so we stop sweating. We may become confused, people can have seizures, they can have cardiovascular collapse and even death. That's a true medical emergency and it requires people to come to the hospital emergently to get cooled down rapidly and monitor for those sequelae of heat stroke. It's important that if you're bringing in a family or a loved one to the emergency department and there's any concern for heat stroke, tell the doctor, tell the nurses what the environmental exposures were. I was just with my neighbor and we were outside all day and they were painting the house and it's 100 degrees. And that will help tune in the ER doctor to think about heat stroke. We need to rapidly cool a patient's body temperature down. So that can often be done with things like ice baths, um, putting water on a patient and then using fans to help cool a patient down, using uh, cooled intravenous fluids. Those are some of the most common and first step actions that we would take in an emergency department to help cool a patient with heat stroke.